Hey, what's going on? It's your boy, Jay Sewell. All right, y'all, man. Let me voice my opinion on this game, Stitches situation. Well, Stitches actually got Stitches from what the report said. He had to get four Stitches. Anyway, man, this is just an all-around L for Stitches. You know what I'm saying? Not only did he get knocked out trying to run up on game, he got knocked out. He got knocked out in his hometown. He got knocked out in front of the police. And instead of the police doing something to the people with game, they took him to jail. So it was just all around loss for him. Then he got the audacity to sit up there and say he got sucker punched. Man, come on, man. He didn't get sucker punched, man. He tried to run up. And he got his ass knocked out. He got, you know, it was a handle my lightweight situation. Game didn't even have to get his hands dirty. So... You know, first of all, Stitches is like a kid from what I heard. First of all, I don't even understand how he can even have some, some niggas that, like, roll with him. First of all, he a white boy, and he shouldn't be saying the word nigga like he be loosely saying the shit. You know what I'm saying? They should check in for that. But, you know, that's the new generation of black men. You know, the young thug, rich homie Quan Drake era. A lot of these new cats are just soft, and they accept whatever get did to them and shit so that's pretty much my my take on that you know what i'm saying getting back to you know this stitches thing uh, allegedly he was trolling game over the internet and shit and that's how a lot of this shit started but you know he went to some club trying to get a game and got his ass knocked out on the floor and I, I understand that, you know, about trolls, because, you know what I'm saying, I got a lot of trolls, you know, they talk shit to me, see all this little flame, flaming ass shit on my channel to it got to the point where you had to, like, stop the shit, but then when you tell these niggas, you know, to meet, you, you know, to meet up with you so y'all can handle this shit like man, then they don't want to accept, they just start talking shit, because, you know, they ain't no real niggas, you know what I'm saying? Which goes on a lot on YouTube, man. A lot of these motherfuckers just talk the talk and don't want want to walk the walk. Just be fucking barking and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know, they supposed to be a pit bull and shit, but then they bark like a little chihuahua. You know what I'm saying? And, how do you, and then a lot, of, a lot of these dudes, by the way they talk, you know, they got these little feminine tendencies and shit. You know, real sad, man. Motherfucker can't out debate you talking boxing, so you know they stoop to talking that little gay shit and going into graphic detail. That make you see what type of person they is and shit, you know, because they ain't gonna meet you to go one on one like a man. You know what I'm saying? They you just you just can tell they they comfortable with talking shit, you know, behind the safety of their computer. But you know what I'm saying. As far as stitches go, man, he might as well just go on and sue the game like 40 Glock did. You know, because that's pretty much what 40 Glock did. He fucking suing the game. I don't know if they settled out of court or is it still ongoing. But that's what stitches need to do, man, because uh, the boy <laughs> got humiliated and shit. And I'm trying to figure out, man, what niggas hang around him. And if you do, man. Why would you? I'm serious. Fuck that dude. A straight fucking cornball. But anyway, this your boy Jay Sewell. I'm out.